Hey guys, how's it going? Black Hills Mommy back again with another large grocery haul. Um, this is one of our large weeks. We do a large week every other with a small fill-in week in between. That's how we've been doing it. However, if you have seen my meal planning videos in the more recent past, there has been some changes to how we're doing it. And on our large weeks, I am tending to stay well under budget. Now today I did actually go right to the budget. Um, in fact, I'm within just a couple dollars of what we had budgeted for it. But things are going so well that I'm going to reevaluate our entire budget here soon and see about dropping the large weeks down about $100. That'll be $200 a month that we will be saving on groceries. Because we're just, we don't need to spend that much. So let me show you everything I got and we'll run through it. All right, there's a lot of good stuff here. So let's run through and I'll tell you all about it. Uh, we got the mini pizzas and the cheeseburgers because we are out of a couple freezer foods or getting low and it's just nice to have because we're still in summer mode and there are meals where there's not enough leftovers and we're just kind of go, go, go some days. Cheez-Its because that is a snack everybody's been eating and then Sam's Club had the veggie ghosts and bats that were on rebate so they were actually not a horrible price for the big box i thought the little ones would probably enjoy that change up and you know the ingredients are a little bit better on those than some things we could buy watermelon uh the six-year-old has really been begging for that and i did promise everybody that i would get another one soon before they're completely out of season grapes the yellow kiwi the bananas that I forgot to get at Target, so Sean actually picked those up at Safeway for me, along with the apples, because, shocker, the apples at Sam's Club, the organic ones, were not looking very good. The strawberries, I managed to get to the bottom of one of the pallets, and they actually didn't look too bad at the bottom. The ones on the top were a little iffy. I have three bunches of shard. This is to go with, we got, we were gifted some massive zucchini, which I will show you guys in a minute, um, as well as some cucumbers. And there is a savory zucchini shard muffin recipe I haven't made in a couple of years that the kids used to love that we're going to go ahead and make those as well as some zucchini lasagna. Rice Krispie treats. Personally, I think the pre-made ones like this are kind of gross but the little kids enjoy them and they're safe for allergy kiddos. So that, you can tell the bag is opened because I took six of the kids grocery shopping with me and by the end, I had to reward the little ones with a snack on the way home. So that's what they got. A uh, new bag of onions. I had a couple onions left. I just haven't used quite as many lately, but boy, they sprouted and got some squish to them. So it was time to grab a new bag. And now that we're getting closer to fall, that will definitely get used up. Two more things of this granola. Guys, this is so good. We are just continuing to go through this. And then the crumbs that are left in the bottom, we kind of combine them all. And then the kids can eat it with milk, like our regular granola. So we haven't even had to buy granola in a while either. Because uh, we keep buying that. A big bag of shredded mozzarella cheese. Now, if you've noticed, I have never purchased shredded cheese in any of my grocery haul videos before. That is because I am not a fan of the anti-caking agents. However, if you've ever tried to shred mozzarella cheese, you also know that's not a fun task. And I'm getting ready to make those zucchini lasagna and I'm gonna make enough of it. I'd like to forget it. I'm buying the big bag and calling it a day. Colby Jack slices, those are for sandwiches and other things like that. Two blocks of Swiss cheese. Uh, Sean picked this up at Safeway for me because Sam's Club did not have any whatsoever. And we need that for those zucchini shard muffins. Sam's Club had the Chef Chamois um, special butters. They, I think I was getting hungry, guys, to be honest. But this looked really good and easy to make uh, garlic bread with. And then this one just looks good with bagels or uh, some of the breakfast breads that the kids have. We picked up another bag, or not another bag, another package of these hot dogs at Walmart finally. So these are not the super massive ones. You notice it's on a plate. As I went to take it out of the cooler bag, we found that it had sprang a leak. And so there was hot dog juice all over the bottom of my cooler bag. But it's all cleaned up now. 
vegan best foods mayonnaise. Uh, we were able to get this. Hellman's actually makes it. It's a double brand type deal. We were getting it at some other stores. We've gotten it at Safeway before, but everybody else quit carrying it. So Safeway is the only place we can find that now in this area, which I've complained about that before too. Uh, the ricotta cheese is for the lasagna that I'm going to make. The spinach dip because everybody's been eating that. Sam's Club got wise and actually brought a product back. Um, it is not organic, so we're still bummed about that. But it is the vanilla because we found out, you know, the last time I bought that silk milk, that it was not the vanilla flavored. And we do really like this. So, or we like the vanilla flavor. So I was happy to see that they did something smart for once. Two jugs of the Fairlife. We actually have been going through a little bit more. Some of the recipes we've been using have called for more. So we are less than half of the one jug in the fridge that I bought that I thought we'd have for a while. So I grabbed two. And again, the best buy on these is November. So they're not going to go bad on us. Uh, the bubbly water is mine. The grape Waterloo is Sean's. Just kind of a guilty little indulgence for each of us. The whole fryer chickens, we are actually going to start doing this instead of lunch meat. Because the lunch meat, the cost of it is just going up and up. And some of the kids started using it in salads and stuff. And we love that they're eating salads. But the amount they would use, it actually makes more sense to have the shredded chicken and put chunks of chicken in their salads rather than cut up lunch meat. Um, so it's a little bit cheaper this route too. So we're going to try that and see how it works out. And if we, you know, doing two every week is going to take place at the lunch meet or just how that's going to work. Uh, let's come back down here first. Bantam bagels. This is not a need. This was not on the list. This is, remember my frozen pea trick using it as an ice pack? Well, I didn't feel like getting more frozen peas. I was getting a little hungry. I knew I would eat these and you actually thaw them before you heat them anyhow. So it made sense to just go ahead and get those because they would help keep the milk and stuff cold while we were in Sam's Club. But it wasn't going to hurt them to thaw out either. So there's another little freezer trick for you. Uh, Welch's Natural. We really try to avoid the high fructose corn syrup uh, jellies and stuff. And the strawberry jelly that we had from Costco finally ran out. We've been buying the regular Welch's Grape but I went ahead and grabbed one of each and we'll see how everybody likes those ones. And then I will go get more uh, when those run out, which those probably are, these are not very big. They're not gonna last us a whole lot. Uh, the Romano ricotta cheese, this is for that lasagna. Uh, we have some sauce left in the laundry room or in the pantry, but it's not gonna be enough. So I had to get more of that. Target, can you tell Target was running their sale on these? Not only are they on sale for 99 cents a box, but they were buy four, get one free. Hence the reason you see five of every row. We have some left from the last sale, but we were starting to get down there a little bit. So this, guys, we are stocked up for a while. We are not gonna have to buy macaroni and cheese for a while again. Uh, the cereal. The kids really liked these cereals. So I thought, okay, you know, every two to four weeks, I will go ahead and buy these cereals. And then when they get bored of them, we'll go from there and figure out what else we might look at. The chips and stuff, the red quinoa chia chips, those go with the spinach dip. That is kind of becoming a staple right now. We'll see how long that lasts. Charlie talked me into going ahead and getting Cheetos again. Not a fan of the mess, but the kids really enjoy them. And then instead of the three bags she wanted, I compromised on two and a bag of the sour cream and onion. And then this, um, since I had six of the seven kids with me, uh, the big kids were helping quite a bit. So at the end in Sam's Club, I told the big girls to go ahead and pick out a treat over in the bakery section. They were really humming and hawing between muffins and brownies and all sorts of stuff. And I saw this. And so they all agreed that that sounded good. So uh, a couple of them ate some of those on the way home. Uh, at the same time, while the, kid, the little ones were eating the Rice Krispie Treats. And then, um, now I'll tell you guys about this stuff here in just a moment. Another case of water. That, you know, something there. In a previous video, I have made comment that you do not see me do freezer meals. I don't care for these aluminum pans. I don't care for them. However, I have to use up all of this zucchini I've got and before it goes bad. 
which means making up some lasagnas ahead of time and freezing them. So this is kind of my one exception to that. I'm not an every month kind of person, but I will do it on occasion for special things. And then the dish tabs and then the uh, brush head for the shower uh, cleaner. That I only included in here because it was included in the grocery budget, along with some Kleenexes that are not set up here because, I mean, they're Kleenexes, let's be real. Oh, and nighttime diapers for Micah, which I guess all of that did get included in the grocery budget too. So if you exclude the things that are not food, we were under still, even though the macaroni and cheese was not on the list. And so you figure at roughly a dollar a box, um, actually I think it came out to 80 cents a box when they were done. Um, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So out of 30 boxes, you can do the math on that. That's how much we spent there that was not planned for. Uh, the Bantam bagels, I think those are like $5 a box. The cookies, the Rice Krispie treats, uh, none of that was on the grocery list. Everything else though was. Okay guys, so like I said, with everything you see, plus the Kleenex, the diapers, um, and then Sean just reminded me, I actually picked up rain boots for Micah at Sam's Club. I also got a drink there, and there were a couple little things. The kids picked up their reward money from the fair today, and Blake immediately used his at Walmart, but I just paid for it with the groceries, so he's gotta give me the cash. So technically, if you exclude the things that really don't count in the grocery budget and the things that the kids were giving me cash back for, we were still under, despite the fact that there were a number of things that I bought that were not on the list. Guys, seriously, meal planning, rocking my world, and it doing it week by week is really working out. So that is what I've got for this week. Now, really quick, let me take you over and show you how big these zucchini are. Okay, I know that just from this angle, this may not actually look very impressive, but I'm going to go ahead and reach down here. Like, I can't even get this fully in camera or in view. I'm trying to hold it. These things are humongous, and I was just talking really close to the microphone, so I'm sorry if that got really loud. Um, so we've got the three really large green zucchini. We've got yellow ones and then five cucumbers that some friends of ours were really gracious to share the bounty from their garden. And I, they're way bigger than I anticipated when we headed over there to get them. So I'm super excited to make these dishes. Okay, so maybe that will show you guys why I had to go ahead and get the aluminum pans to go ahead and make some zucchini lasagna and that kind of stuff because I don't want that to go to waste. And this is good fresh food, locally grown, and I'm gonna take advantage of it while we have it. And hopefully next year we have our own garden. So we'll see how that goes too. But I'm gonna go ahead and sign off now. So I hope you guys like this video. Hope you're having a blessed day. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell so you don't miss everything coming up next, and I will see you in the next one.